What do you do when your DLP policies have too many false positives and there's no real easy way to increase the accuracy of those definitions? If you add a keyword, it's losing too much data. If you add uh, another regex or something else to the, the policy, it's just not being accurate enough. Or in the scenario of you have a database where it's, you want to protect all this data and there's not a lot of other keywords to match it, but it's a, a five digit number. How do you increase the accuracy of your DLP policies? Well, Microsoft has an exact data match solution that can really help solve the problem of, is that a random five digit number or is that that medical record number of your uh, patient? we can actually remove all doubt and all questions about your data and say that is a one for one match from your database and protect that data. Hey everybody, I'm Doug Baker and this is Doug Does Tech. Uh, Microsoft is rolling out some new options for exact data match. And in honor of that, I thought I would make a video walking through how that solution from Microsoft works, how we can take advantage of it. Uh, and we'll do a just high level video today on EDM. Uh, and then in the next video, I'll talk about exactly how to implement Microsoft's EDM solution. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Here's a slide or a, you know, a, a diagram that I helped create to kind of walk through what's going on with EDM, how do you implement it, what's happening in the background for each of this. So I'm gonna start here on the on-prem side of things. What you're gonna to need to implement this solution is really a database that has your set of data. This could be medical record numbers, this could be student IDs, this could be you know actual credit cards that you're storing in your app or something along that lines. As part of this service, you will need to take from that database or that collected source and export it to a CD, CSV. That CSV can be just uh, tab-based or CSV, it doesn't really matter, but Microsoft Solution then will come through and we will set up definitions to ingest that data. You'll need a processing server to take in and, and lightweight uh, adjust it. What's gonna happen with that data is that CSV is gonna be taken, it's gonna be hashed on-prem, and then Microsoft will take that hash that you upload and put it into its EDM data store. Once in the data store, then we can start taking advantage of it. Your data is not being uploaded in clear text or anything like that to the solution from Microsoft. Everything is gonna be hashed. And it's this hash format where it can just be then used to rehash the data from your OneDrive or your email and verify, yes, it does match that hash. So Microsoft's not seeing the data. All we're seeing on the, the back end is that hash, and then we'll rehash some random data if it matches the classification and then go through. Now, once you have this data piece uploading, then we can start taking advantage of it from the DLP policy or auto labeling policy. So here is an example of how you should think of that flow. As a end user is working in Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, all of those things, as they're transactionally sharing the data outside of our org or internal, we will do a classification match of it. So EDM service is not standalone to your data classification policies, it's just an extension of it. So how this is gonna work is that we're gonna set up a data classification. So this could be your social security number, your medical record number, something along those lines. And when uh, email matches on one of those items, it will then send it over to the EDM classification to remove all doubt that this number is in this database here or this hash upload, okay? So that's the way you should be thinking about this DLP policy, uh, how you should be uh, thinking of building these things. It's an extension of these, uh, the data classification service. It's not a standalone product. You first need to match on the classification, then you move to the EDM. So this can be a tricky one uh, to think through and as you build your EDM policies, which I'll do in the next videos, um, one of those gotchas that we're gonna have to do. So in the case of like a social security number, if you have a classification that requires a keyword and you're matching first on that requirement of a keyword and it never has the keyword SSN or social security number, it will never flow over to the EDM classification. So as you build your EDM stuff, 
you're going to need to make sure your definitions are matching on the lowest level policy possible so it sends it over to the EDM to remove all doubt. Okay. So that's kind of the high level architecture view of it. Now let's let's see what it looks like as a end user. Let's see what uh, what this experience will look like. So here I have um, an email that I have loaded up in my solution, and you know maybe everything is working fine. I'm going to send this message over to Jeff Leatherman internally, and you know we we're the superhero protection agency. Uh, and so I'm going to load in some data about all of our uh, superheroes that we are working with. And, you know, I'm, I'm on my way and I'm good. As I'm typing out the rest of the email, perhaps, uh, you know, uh, I accidentally tab and complete and add in the wrong Doug. Um, it will actually come in and do that full detailed match of these policies. And this should be roughly the same as your existing DLP policies. You should be expecting this to do, you know, almost the same. However, this is pulling from my database of superhero information to check to see if all of these things are in here. So, you know, I have Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne, you know, all of these kind of data pieces. And this all is going to 100% match up and verify. In the case of a data piece where maybe there is something like this where it could be another one, with the EDM solution, we can also look at the other rows of the database and also increase accuracy on there. So it's not just a SRN, a superhero registration number that we're matching on, but we can also come in and verify we matched on this, but is there any of this other data nearby? And so we can increase accuracy of it. And that's what you see happening here with this policy tip. We have this high example of it's a high accuracy match because we are seeing this name as well as all of this other information nearby this match. And so that's a great way to do it. Um, so that's the EDM as solution. I hope this video helps you uh, walk through kind of what that experience will look like. I'm going to do a much more in-depth video of how to implement the solution. However, if you want to get started, um, there is a great set of blogs that was uh, produced by Microsoft. And I'm going to put them into the, the chat. Um, and it walks through everything that you need to do to implement the solution. I'm going to do another video where I'm going to walk you through using the test data from DLP test.com. And while well, I'll show you some gotchas with that implementation, the things you got to watch out for when you design that. So hope this helps. If you have questions about exact data match, make sure you reach out.